Hi, I'm Bruce Maynard, and this is my family, my wife Roz, and children Liam, Ella, and Hannah. And we live on our farm at Willadar, near Narromine in the central west of New South Wales, Australia. On Willadar, we're aiming to restore as much natural function as we can in the long run. In other words, returning our property towards a mixed grassland, woodland and shrubland that regenerates uh, natural landscape functions with a low input but high production potential. To do that, we utilise mostly livestock on our property, but also with innovative cropping and tree and shrub plantings. One of the first methods that we instituted on Willadar was beginning to plant saltbush. And from 1990 until the present day, we have been planting saltbush in a lot of different patterns and layouts. This provided a, a lot of benefit for us in terms of drought fodder, but it also started us on a track towards thinking about not only the grasses on our property, but also the shrub layer. In 1991, we did a whole farm plan for the property in conjunction with the then Soil Conservation Service. And one of the best questions they asked us was to consider what we would like to plan for a hundred year time frame. Everything that we do now is based upon long-term sustainability. It has really guided our land usage ever since. In 1994, we commenced time control grazing methods on our property. That changed our grasslands immediately, increasing the diversity and also the productive capacity of our pastures. And we've gone from approximately 30 paddocks to now 113 paddocks. We put in right through the whole property access laneways in 1995. We use these on a daily basis and not only do they control animal movement as we go around the, the property, but it also restricts our vehicle movements to those areas. It provides a great efficiency boost and also enables us to tailor our grazing very much for what the plant needs because we can graze a paddock at one end of the property and then in the next shift we can move the animals quickly and easily right to the other end. So access laneways are a very, very vital part of our property plan. In 1996, we decided to change our cropping program. Up to that point, we had been direct drilling into our grasslands for over 10 years. That had been highly successful to a certain point, but we realised with our grazing methods that we were actually getting a much greater diversity by using the animals in a different fashion. When we direct drilled, we took all of that progress back to zero again. In other words, establishing a monoculture. We realised in the long run that we couldn't do that. And so we came up with the concept of no-kill cropping. This essentially is cropping into grasslands and not simplifying them. That is our basic tenet of no-kill cropping, is that we want to keep all of the elements of our grassland while still growing crops in it. Contrary to uh, conventional wisdom, we found that that is possible within grasslands, even in a semi-arid environment such as ours. In 1997, we uh, began using some of the elements of holistic resource management. We found this was a great addition to the uh, grazing knowledge that we already had, which was very closely tied to the savoury methods of grazing management. Holistic management encourages you to think about as many elements as you can in your decision making, and this tied in very much with our worldview and our sustainability focus. In 1998, we began to experiment with different layouts of planting saltbush and saltbush was our shrub of choice across the landscape, we realised that we didn't want to just continue to plant it in block plantings as we had done in the first years because that simplified the grassland layer. So what we began to do was uh, lay them out in alleys that enabled us to go cropping, grazing, whatever our normal use was for the paddocks, but also to have that shrub layer in there. The result of doing this has been a huge lift in production and it provides shelter and a different feed source for the animals at all times. It also protects the uh, growing crops from wind damage. Spiral saltbush plantings are a progression on from target plantings. Essentially they achieve the same result at a ground level in that they provide curves over the whole landscape, thereby meaning that there is uh, 
shelter at all times of the day, especially from the harsh effects of wind. With these plantings, this took us well towards 400,000 saltbush being planted on our place. And uh, this is a, a significant part of our property, covering almost a quarter of our property. Since the year 2000, we've adopted stress-free stockmanship methods. This has meant that we can easily handle animals, whether they be in the paddock or the yards. For the animals, it has meant that their production potential has soared. Genetically, they can achieve the best that they can because they're not stressed at any stage. We have found that there are very few plants that animals won't eat because their behaviour changes as they gain confidence and are able to accept novel foods because they are not stressed. In 2001 we began experimenting with direct tree seeding and also growing our own trees. Each year we grow up to 2,000 trees in our own shade house and then we also do some direct tree seeding with the tree seeder that we developed up using the no-kill principles. Since 2002 we've planted approximately 200,000 trees in various different configurations, some of those for regeneration, some of those for production, and some of those principally for forage. In all of those plantings, the overall long-term aim is for sustainability on multiple levels. In 2007, we planted over 104,000 trees as part of a carbon sequestering program. This in the long term will not only provide benefits to the wider society, but also for us, it will provide shelter belts, deep shade, biodiversity linkages right through the whole property, and also increase capital value. By integrating multiple methods on Willadar, we are trying to implement a business model that lives the triple bottom line.